Hello and welcome back to this course. Today in this video, we are going to discuss about the multidimensional array. In our previous video, we have discussed about the arrays and in this video, we will discuss about the multidimensional array. This is the multidimensional array. You can see uh, in the previous video, we have created a one dimensional array and this is the multidimensional array. First one is 2D array and the second one is the 3D array. What is the difference between them? There we will give only one size and in 2D array we give two sizes. First of all, I have to type data type. Then if I want to create 2D array, then I type the square brackets to type and then I type the name of the array or the reference like int array equals to new int. This is a two dimensional array. So I type here two values 10 and 20. You can type anything here. And in three dimensional array, we will create three square brackets and we will give the three values. Now in a diagram, you can see that if we create a two dimensional array, for example, this is a two dimensional array. I first of all create a reference that is ARR. And after that, we have an array which contains the three boxes and each box contains the reference of the different arrays. This is the two dimensional array. And in the two square brackets, we give three and three. So we will get an array of three um, size. And in each box, we contain the reference of a different array. You can see that in the first box we have reference of a separate array in the middle one box we have a reference of the other array and in the last box you can see we have a reference of the other array so in this way we can create the multi-dimensional array so let's create a program in the netbeans to print a matrix on the screen by using the 2d array okay so now here if i want to print a matrix on the screen i use a two-dimensional array so i first of all type here int and now if i want to create the two-dimensional array then I have the square brackets two time like this. Then I give the uh, reference like ARR equals to new int. And I again type the two uh, square brackets. And after that, I will give the values uh, in the arrays. So I create three pairs here like this and add values in it. I add one, two, three, four, five, six. 7, 8, and 9, like this. If I split it to the next line, like this, you can see here this thing. Okay, you can, so now you can see the pairs. We have the first pair that contains the three numbers, and the second pair that contains the three numbers, and in the last pair, we have again three numbers. So this is uh, array of 3 by 3, we have 3 rows and 3 columns. Now I want to print the matrix of this on my screen or console. So I start the loop here for in i equals to 0, i less than 3, and i plus plus. And in the body of the for loop, I start another for loop for in i uh, in j equals to 0, j less than 3, and j plus plus and in this module for loop i am going to print the numbers so i type here system dot out dot print ln and now i want to print the first pair this one two three so i simply type here a r r i and j like this so first of all the index of the i is zero and j is zero so we get this value 0 0 next time uh, when this uh, inner loop uh, executes the value of i is again 0 but now this time the value of j is 1 so we get this value and after that the value of j is incremented by 1 and we get here 0 and 2 and this way we print the first pair on the screen and after this loop i want to go to new line so i type here system dot out dot print ln like this okay so now if i run this program you will see uh, all the numbers in this form now i want to print these numbers in form matrix so i simply use the print method i remove this n from here like this and now if i run this program you will see a matrix of numbers on the screen like this one two three four five six and seven eight nine this is the matrix of the numbers so in this way we can use a 2d array and we can also 
use the 3D array in the same way. So let's create a program that finds the greatest number in the array. I hope that you understand about the 2D array and the multidimensional array. Now, first of all, create an array here. Int ar equals to new ar. Oh, sorry, int. Then I type the uh, size of the array. So I type here six, like this. And now I want to take input from the user. So I start a loop here for int i equals to zero. I less than ar dot length and i plus plus and in the body of the loop i am going to take input from the user so first of all i print a statement here system dot out dot print ln and enter i plus one number like this okay then scanner S1 equals to new scanner and system dot in. Okay, I also import the scanner class in my program like this. And then int num equals to S1 dot next int and then AR of i equals to num. Okay, so now I have take an input from the user and store all the numbers entered by the user in that array and now i want to find the greatest number uh, in that array so i start a loop here another for loop here for in i equals to zero i less than a r dot length and i plus plus And before this loop, I type a statement here int greatest number equals to a r of zero. This I initialize the greatest number variable with the first element of the array that this number right now is the greatest number of the array. And in the body of the for loop, I type here if a r of i is greater than a r of zero then simply change a r 0 equals to a r of i like this and outside this for loop i will print system dot out dot print ln and greatest number in this array is and concatenate the a r of zero okay okay so we have declared the greatest number here so i rather than using the a r zero i type here greatest number and also greatest number here I forgot that we have declared a variable so greatest number and also greatest number here okay so now if I run this program you will see a message enter number so I type here 12 some numbers like this and you can see the greatest number in this array is 89 you can see that um, 12, 56, 45, 78, 34, and 89, and the greatest number is 89. I run this program once again and again type some values like 90, 501, like this. You can see greatest number in this array is 500. So now I hope that you have better understanding about the arrays and its multi dimensional arrays. Arrays are nothing but just the consecutive memory locations uh, to save our data. This is a data structure basically. This is a linear data structure. We are storing our data in a sequence. So I hope you understand about the arrays. If you feel any problem while understanding the arrays, you can definitely ask a question or message me, I will help you. So that's it for this video. I will see you in next video.